Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new series that I'm going to be trying to do. I'm going to be trying to cover some of my favorite villains and this time I'm going to be covering Darth Maul. So you've been forewarned anything about Star Wars or Darth Maul is fair game to be covered in this. So enjoy the show. We'll handle this. I love a good villain. I'm betting the Joker told you to kill me as soon as we loaded the cash. <sighs> no, 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 no. I killed a bus driver. Bus driver? What bus driver? I think it's what makes or breaks a show. make or break or show how do I articulate this intangible feeling that invokes hatred and also at the same time awe and Darth Maul has been one of my long-standing favorite villains he's just a straight-up baddie but something about him makes you sympathize maybe and also, maybe feel a little pity. Maul starts off in The Phantom Menace as this uh, silent villain. He is really just a scary looking dude that can fight really well. <laughs> we don't really know much more about him than that, that point in time. But if you watch Dave Filoni's Star Wars The Clone Wars, his character is brought to a whole nother level his hatred for Kenobi. Kenobi! Taking his legs. His obsession with power. And ultimately, I guess, his love for his brother that he sadly loses. Maul is a great example of how Sometimes a villain comes full circle, and because of all this depth that we've had, when it comes back around to him fighting again, but this time against Ahsoka in a very similar fashion, you can kind of root for him a little bit. this character that's just gone through betrayal and loss over and over in his life and unlike his nemesis Kenobi never learns from his mistakes he's always fighting the way he he knows how to fight and doesn't ever adjust and this is beautifully portrayed in Star Wars Rebels when Maul comes to an end. <sighs> Look what has become of you. A rat in the desert. Look what I have risen above. I have come to kill you, but perhaps it's worse to leave you here, festering in your squalor. If you define yourself by your power to take life, a desire to dominate, to possess, then you have nothing. And what do you have?
tell me, is it the Chosen One? He is. He will avenge us. say this <laughs> never learn from his mistakes and as humans that's the thing that we must always strive to do uh -uh. <laughs> I feel like I wrote this as such an emotional piece throughout this and I was originally going for like a bass like kind of vibe like I wanted to like show everything that like the despicable things that Maul has done, you know, and I can still show them maybe in a part two. There's also potential for more Maul. We saw him in Solo. I mean, that was years ago now, but I'm still, I still got my fingers crossed. So, so maybe I'll do a part two on Maul, but I think for now, I'm going to move on to a different villain. So, I'll catch you guys next time. I'm thinking about uploading like an Ocarina of Time playthrough um, if you're interested in watching that, if this caught your eye. I just kind of talk about what's going on in my life uh, and play some video games. So anyway, catch you guys later. Never.